All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can build a monument the size of the entire United States that symbolizes the downfall of society. It's City Skylines. As we slowly spiral down into hell, I want to create a literal downward spiral into the nether realm out of the United States. So basically the plan is I want to build a gigantic city that is a downward spiral in the middle of the United States that takes up the entire United States. I then want to drain the ocean into it and then I want to crack it open and allow it to drain back out into the ocean, effectively flushing the entirety of the society away. Way with it. I am effectively going to make a toilet bowl the size of the entire United States. That is the plan. I want a working city too to destroy, well, working. I mean, this is, you see what we build here usually. I want people to live in it and everything. I need roads, liquor stores, and then I want to see if anyone intentionally travels down there into the darkness. <laughs> Springwood? No. The future of mankind. We will simulate such futures using this lovely to scale representation of the United States. I'm not gonna lie though, Florida's looking like it ate too much. It's kind of bulbous. I feel like Florida is getting more slender as the ocean slowly sucks it down to the bottom. All right, it's time for the pain in the ass part. I want this as high as it will literally go. The issue is it takes forever because the map is so goddamn big. All right, the tumorous growth is at maximum. See from the top down, it's like a nine, but when you get down face to face, it's like a two. And thus the spiral begins. I didn't really plan it this way, but because we're going through a bunch of different states, it's gonna be multicolored. Okay, I'm realizing two things. First off, this looks like an egg, not a circle. And second off, this is nowhere near big enough. Hold on. Okay, now it kind of looks like a minion that's facing sideways. See, there's this goggle. Okay. <laughs> This is way bigger than I had previously anticipated. I'm gonna close up the little gaps here. Wouldn't want any of those. Oh, sweet rave party going on. I think that the game knows what I'm trying to do. So it was trying to give me a seizure so I'd stop. Sweet. I'm trying to decide if I want to leave this inner sanctum here. When the monstrous attack on Titan alien beasts start coming in, all the wealthy people get to live here. Well, let me make sure that it's not touching any of the plebs. I'm trying to figure out exactly how the hell I'm going to put a, a highway that goes in a spiral around this. I mean, there is a slope option. Okay, this could totally work. It's gonna be like rings of an onion. Now we need the second layer. Just like rings of an onion, I'm going to cry making this. This is also going to unintentionally make a titanic highway. I don't know if the cars in this game are going to traverse it or not. Usually they give up halfway through my ridiculous highways because they just can't take it anymore. I feel like the AI in the game develop sentience and when it finds out that it needs to drive 35,000 miles just to get home it says Fuck it i'm gonna have to get rid of this thing it'll still be here but i think i'm gonna put it right in the middle i say it's where all the betters will live but i'll probably just end up filling it up with sewage amazing i wanted to make a bunch of layers but what i ended up doing was making testicular cancer on the plus side it's totally working i mean the cancer part <laughs> and the layer part. All right, prepare your property values, cauldron of suffering. I'm bringing the hell to you. All right, this wouldn't be a downward spiral if we didn't go down a little bit. All right, investors, time to see who has the biggest balls. Oh, I can't wait to see how this game tries to build these houses. The mayor is doing well leading this city. New citizens are flying in from all over. This just goes to show you that there are a lot of people in this world with very low expectations. All right, we need to get some water in here. I think I have a way to do this. How the hell is there a tornado strike in here? It's a gigantic toilet bowl. All right, power and water is connected. Got the trench ass water going around the outside here. Now I have to begin the absolute agonizing pain that people must go through in order to get into the city. Yeah, just kind of kind of go up here like this and take a little, little bridge across like this that there now the spiral begins this is where you really get to see who actually wants to live in the united states now the big difficult part is going to be putting buildings on all these little rings so that they're built down the the layers of the onion all right now we bring this down down there only three more layers to go i'm on the last layer Got it. All right, then a leave. Gotta go down this way here. I like that the exit wound is in the middle of Texas. If you survive the drop, you get a lovely Texas t-shirt. All right, build some of that. I like that the tornado is attacking the one area where I'm sucking in water to power this entire city. This tornado is like, I will take away the sustenance for your Satan onion gray. I'm not gonna lie, it lighted actually looks pretty legit. Ah. Uh, 
The first poor bastards are on their way in. Hold on, I gotta see exactly how they're entering the city. <laughs> Hell, I'm just glad the streetlights are working. This is what it looks like inside of the Onion of Agony. It's not until you step back that you realize just how big this goddamn thing is. A little bit of water. The best thing about the slopes is you can kind of just guess wherever you want to put your power at. Part of me wonders if... As everyone gets more and more educated, they'll start moving out because they'll understand just how horrifying this place is. Congratulations, the mayor just won most attractive city. <laughs> it must be the beautiful lake of sewage that I have surrounded the inner sanctum with. This is the most efficient power grid I think I've ever seen in city skylines. The dead bodies are starting to pile up. Hold on, we have a way to deal with this. Where's the burger places at? Okay, y'all are producing a lot more sewage than I had previously anticipated. Things are starting to fill up kind of quick down here. The smog of people's fecal material is getting thick. On the plus side though, business is booming. Look, it's the future of mankind, all right? You take what you can get. When cars make that left-hand turn, some of their wheels pop. <laughs> It's like a goddamn destruction derby. The vehicle just went flying off into the cosmos. What the hell? Look at him go. <laughs> what is happening? This dude's like, I can't wait to get here. Yeah. He goes flying into the pit of hell. These people have been waiting, waiting <laughs> for the downward spiral. Noise pollution doesn't look too bad. It only looks slightly hemorrhoidal. The ground pollution anal sludge is slowly making its way to the end. Might be able to get some cemeteries right next to all the ass water. Here we go. I realized why I keep winning most attractive city. It's because all the other cities in the world are completely destroyed. We're the last bastion of humanity. I'm not actually 100% sure when I screwed this up, but there's a random drop that goes straight into the underworld. Since we're the last ones left alive, I might as well just approve all this. School is out. The future of mankind is more prosperous than ever. Look at everyone moving in. If only they knew what was coming. Oh my God, the game is starting to break because of all the crap that's centered in this pigsty. This plane over here is probably flying over. It's like a tourist attraction. The pilot is like, if you look to your left, you'll see a bunch of people with no real will to live. Always remember to save often. Okay, the city exists. Most of it exists in a constant state of depression. But now I need 60 billion pumps so I can get enough water in here to fill this place up. See this fecal ring down here, all this really does is give it flavoring. You may ask yourself, but Gray, how many pumps do you need? I need all the pumps. I might just outline the entire United States with pumps. Although if I attempt to do this, I may end up going completely insane. Oh yeah. I can feel the desire to die rising. Oh, I can't even build over here. What the hell, Maine? That's all right, Maine. You will live on through New Jersey and its other brethren. God, I never thought the United States having so many crevices would be so annoying. It's also fun that slowly but surely I have to keep backing down the graphic settings because it's the only way for the game to continue working. Congratulations, Florida. I'm saving your ass. Global warming was gonna put you into the Gulf of Mexico, but when I'm done, there won't be a Gulf of Mexico left to put you into. Does this, does this count? <laughs> I think it still works. Oh yeah, that's totally fine right there. That's the way the game was meant to be played. Can't build over here. Oh my God, <laughs> it's almost over. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> well, it's not almost over. I have to supply power to all this and I have to have piping that connects them all. Always remember <laughs> to save often. Okay, just gotta connect all these. This is probably the, uh, it's probably the easiest part. Come on, Gray, you can do this. You're halfway home. All right, luckily all these drug addicted water pumps aren't posing any problems. I'm super dedicated. I'm connecting even the ones that I know aren't connected to the water. Ugh. Thank you, God. All right, just kind of put this about there. All right, just making sure it's working. <laughs> now all we need is another 10,000 of these. I was all like, oh, it's over. It's not over. You don't mind if I put these, uh, these eco pumps right in your backyard, do you? Okay, now the whole top part of this is filled. Now I just have to connect all these. As I come upon the home stretch here, I'll have to make sure all this is powered and then the purification can begin. Okay, 
Now, I don't know how many of these will actually work right off the bat, thanks to- Guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. Residents should avoid roads and waterfronts. Wait. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. What? The Coast Guard is warning of a tsunami. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't care. Shut up, please. Okay, real quick. Tsunami? Who gives you shit? There's no way in hell it's gonna make it inside of this city. Because I'm lazy, this is how I power things. This is also why my computer hates me. All right, looks like everything's working perfectly. You know, air quotes perfectly. Everyone who's going down this road here, what is this, like LinkedIn Avenue? They're getting a free car wash. On the plus side, uh, we are currently pumping 66.3 million cubic meters a week. No, that's a lot of damage. Is the water line of Florida going down yet? Are we saving the entire state? Hell yes. We are. <laughs> I can't wait until this giant pocket fills up because it should all just start cascading downward. I like how there's still people moving into the city. What is wrong with you? <laughs> this old guy over here is like, if there's one thing I love, it's walking down the street with my cane in my hand next to my grandson, only to see 66 million cubic meters of water come rushing at me. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a few more of these. Hold on, if I anarchy this, can I put like a hundred of these on top of one another? Oh. My God. All right, I don't actually know how to connect these. If you touch it in its special spot, it kind of works. In retrospect, I probably should have filled in all these crevices a while back. Ah, yes, now things appear to be working appropriately. And by appropriately, I mean slowly but surely all of my citizens are getting washed away. Oh God, the first breach has begun. <laughs> it's flowing down this, this roadway here. Now, luckily for all of the civilians, uh, there is this little pocket over here that it needs to fill up first. If you listen closely though, you can hear the screams of the damned. I mean, I, I might as well just keep this going while I still have frame rate. Just uh, felt like messing around to help things along. Are you ready for this? All right, grab this. There we go. <laughs> I am legitimately amazed at how well this city is doing. This is actually prime property like right over here because you get to have the very first look of the apocalypse of civilization. We've got another breach over here. There is a ton of water falling down into the city. It's just riding all the walls at this point, but there's still 20,000 people that love masochism. I love that this is the cinematic camera. This is the camera that is currently deciding what is the most impressive things to look at. And no matter what it is, it's either some guy that can't park worth a damn or it's a bunch of water pumps. Just adding more just to see if we can get this moving along. Well, amazingly, the country is still standing despite draining the entire ocean into it. The water just, I think, isn't rendering because everyone is clearly flooded out. However, I'm gonna need to see if we can crack the side of this toilet bowl open with a couple of these. Just do like a, you know, like a little column of them like this here, put the old power level up to 25 times normal, make a nice little hole in the side here. Okay, I, I think the the degradation of my audio equipment means that they're incoming. <laughs> well, that helped the water get down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's where all the water was <laughs> That's beautiful. I, I don't even remember making that many of them. Let me see if I can let the water go back out into the ocean. You can see it's having a hell of an effect on global warming. I like how I made this canal so that the water inside of the city could flush out and instead all the water in the ocean is flushing in. Don't worry about me, just, uh, you know, just making a little artistic canal over here. What the hell is this? What is this, tsunami? You're kind of late. Like, you know, an hour and a half late. I mean, I, I guess if nothing else, It'll help me fill up my help. So technically, since this is ocean water, can I tsunami this? I mean, it looks like you might be able to. I'm so happy that my help has filled up nicely. About time. Here comes the rolling pin of blue saran wrap finally coming to drown this place. Come on, tsunami, you got a job to do. There's still 9,000 people left living here. Hold on, let me see if I can get rid of some of the protection. Then you grab this, do this. All right, the few of you that are left, you, you gotta, you gotta go, man. Society is so tough. We're like cockroaches. We never give up. There's still 252 people. Come on, you can do it. There's still two individuals that are alive. 
hold on. If they're still alive when this is over, I will leave them be out of respect for their ability to not die. There's only one now. Okay. The meteorites are over. The entirety has been flooded and drained. And one single individual still remains. He's not happy, but he's still living here. <gasps> Never mind. He just died. That means that the entirety of the population is now wiped out. All right. And uh, that's what's left in the United States. Thing looks pretty legit. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of City Skylines. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.